Okay, YouTube. We're not exactly ready for this step yet. But the block is all washed up. This is the bottom end. That looks real clean. Even on this camera, that looks real clean. Yeah, that looks sexy clean. Anyway, we're installing these. And this is how you install them. Clean. Like this, okay? Take note of all those holes. Those are all oil holes, okay? So, uh, I didn't actually plan this out. Uh, I just got ready to install them because I was kind of tired of sitting around and looking at them. And I really don't have the money to do a bang up rebuild. So, we're kind of, <laughs> we're kind of on the fringes anyway. So I figured, you know what? Let's just keep going through it. Uh, at the end of the day, it really just depends on how much cash you got. Not your skill. It depends on money, as does everything else. So I'm going to try to get this on film. Not to say I'm the most skilled freaking mechanic in the world. I think I'm pretty damn decent. But let's turn the scene as to see it. Now, your main bearings. Open up your package. This big one is your thrust bearing. We're gonna open this up right now. Right now, Ricky Bobby. And first, we're gonna install this one because I know it's clean. It has like a little blemish right there, but it's actually, uh, you can't even feel it rubbing your finger across it. You could kind of feel it, but you can't feel it enough to actually uh, do anything about it. You need to get this line home to do something about that. So anyway, we're gonna continue. Yeah, see they kind of got nicks in the back of my bearings, if you guys can see that. So, set these off to the side. I'm going to show you guys how to install these. This is your bearing. Right here. That's all there is to it for your engine bearings. This is the thrust bearing. There's actually a little lip right here on the side. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's kind of dark. There's a lip right there where that bearing goes into. And it feels kind of greasy, so you know what? We're going to kind of clean that out right now. You want these as clean as possible before you install your bearings. You usually want to use a lint-free cloth, but uh, I don't have to give you those, so we're going with what we got. Look at that. That stuff right there, stop your bearing from seeing right. You want to check for stuff like that too. Now these other ones, it doesn't matter as much because they don't have that. So if the face is clean, it's pretty much clean. But uh, with these ones, your thrust bearing, it takes a little bit more uh, a little bit more effort to make sure it's clean. And all you gotta do is, you know, go over it and make sure it's clean. Make sure it can seat down in there, right? This thing actually took a bath in a in a CLR. Wow, you can't, just can't even see that. There we go. So anyway, the light from outside is just totally killing this camera. This camera sucks balls. Let's see if we go over that way a little more what happens. There we go. Now, to install your bearing, it's very complicated. Try to keep track. Get it over there. There's a notch right over here. It's in the bearing. Line that up. Make sure it's completely even in there. And it's installed. <laughs> it's literally that easy, people. So, that's the main bearing. Boom, or the main thrust bearing. So uh, we have more bearings. These actually look pretty damn spiffy. This makes me want to go polish my crank. That looks nice. That looks really damn nice. And these really don't matter um, where they go uh, because they're all identical from this point on. Um, they don't have any specific markings or anything like that. Just a little bit of, of course, you know, the brand tooting its own horn, which uh, they kind of deserve to in this case, because this is uh, pretty gorgeous. So let's go ahead and press your bearings in there. Make sure your hole's lined up. Make sure it's flush as possible on both sides. Make sure it's pressed all the way in. And huzzah, bearing installed. It's a little notch right there on the front. You guys can barely see it because my camera sucks balls. But that notch coincides with this notch over here. And voila, and the hole too, don't forget the hole, she said. Anyway, so press that bad boy in there, and it's done. 
It's that simple. So we're gonna keep going till we're done. Then I'm gonna take a break from filming because I don't know, I'm getting a little bit stressed because I don't have money to make this an awesome ass rebuild and that's very depressing. When you know that you could do a better job but you just don't have the money to make sure it's done like 100 percent which which a lot of mechanics do and they get away with but i don't know i'm kind of anal uh not as bad as jaffro jaffro mobile you might want to check out his channel but uh pretty bad here's the last one again this cost me 168 dollars for this whole kit so pretty good deal and that's it bearings were installed brand new bearings front to back that's how easy it is again if you enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe Deuces.